Hey guys, I'm going to today show you how to reset a flashcast jump drive that has been, for unknown reasons, unable to format when booted. Um, this is specifically helpful for those of you who have had formatting issues or have created a flashcast jump drive that you tried to use on a uh, Chromecast that's already been updated. So um, here's how you return your jump drive back to its usable and standard format. Um, as you can see, I have my drive here, L, plugged into my computer. And if you try to click it, it says, before I can use it, I need to format it. The issue here is if you norm if you format it like normal or try to, you get this problem where it only shows a capacity of 4 kilobytes, which is definitely wrong. So, what you need to do to fix this is we need to use some command line. So, open start, type cmd.exe, right click, and run as administrator. You have to run as admin. Now when you do this, you'll get a UAC pop-up and you press yes to allow it to run as administrator. So now I have a command line running as administrator. Next. We need to type disk part to open up the disk partitioning tool. And now it's opened. So this is very important. What I want you to do now is unplug your jump drive. The reason we do this is so we can tell specifically which drive is uh, the jump drive of Flashcast so we don't accidentally wipe the wrong drive. So now we type list disk. And now we plug the jump drive back in, wait for it to show up in my computer, and type list disk again. As you can see, the difference between the two is disk 8, which tells me that disk 8 is my jump drive. Double check to make sure that you are positive that you know which disk is your jump drive. Otherwise, like I said, you can accidentally wipe everything off the drive you select. So now that I know for sure it's disk 8, select disk 8. So you would type select disk whatever number your disk is. Mine is 8, I type 8. Now I've selected it. Now I type clean. This wipes the MBR off the disk. Um, now we got to create a new MBR, so convert MBR, which creates a new boot record, and then last, create partition primary. At this point, I can now go to the jump drive in my computer, right click, format, and it shows its full capacity again, and if I format it, it'll work just like normal. And there we are. If you find this guide helpful, please say thanks or whatnot. Um, if you have any questions, ask them below, and I will have a copy of all the commands ran in the, uh, in the uh, video information. Thanks.